Hi, welcome to another session of Engineering Mechanics. In the previous session, we have discussed about how to determine center of gravity of a plane lamina using direct integration method. Today, we will continue the same topic. And in the last session, we have seen how to determine center of gravity of a plane lamina formed by area under a curve. Today, we will discuss about the plane figure which is formed as an area between two different curves. The procedure is similar to one which we discussed in the last session. And let us look at the stages or steps involved in superfactor determination by direct integration method. And the first step is identifying the functions. And further we have to calculate the constant. And on the next we have to select a small rectangle to touch in the functional line. Then we have to determine center of gravity and area of small strip. Then we have to integrate the area of small strip to get the total area of lamina. Then we have to calculate the first moment of area of small strip and also integrate for the total first moment of area, first moment of area with respect to the axis. Finally, we have to calculate the coordinates of center of gravity from the obtained first moment of area of plane lamina and total area of lamina. Then, now let us see if the given lamina from the way two curves. Consider uh, the figure given in the slide, figure 1 given in the slide and the question is of the function of two lines that is one two curves that is a straight line and parabola and given and it is y is equal to mx and y is equal to kx and also I am writing the equations as y is equal to mx as the equation 1 and y is equal to kx as equation 2. So now I am applying the boundary conditions that is a h boundary condition a h now in the equation one y is equal to mx it will be equal it will become h is equal to m a and we can calculate the value of m as h by a and i am rewriting equation 1 as y is equal to h by a into x similarly equation 2 will become at boundary conditions equation 2 will become h is equal to k h square and k will be equal to h by a square and i am rewriting the Equation 2 as y is equal to h by a square x square and denoting it as equation 4. Now we have to select a small rectangular strip touching two functional lines, two, touching the two given functional lines, so functional curves. <coughs> and for that I am considering a small rectangular strip like like this and the coordinate of x coordinate of center of gravity can be written as x bar of element is equal to x Similarly, y bar of element can be calculated as y2 minus y1 by 2 plus y1 which is equal to y2 plus y1 by 2. Here we can say that y1 is the distance from x axis to the bottom curve and y2 is the distance from x axis to the upper point on the line. And the total height of the rectangular strip will be y2 minus y1 and its center of gravity will be at a distance y2 minus y1 by 2 that is 
from bottom of the rectangular strip. However, now we have to calculate the total area. Before going to the total area calculations, we can replace the values of y2 and y1 from equation 3 and 1. Since y2 is a point on straight line, I am replacing it by the term y2 with h by a into x. Similarly, y1 is a point on parabola and I am replacing y1 with h by x square minus x square d in and total a will be multiplied by dx. And the total for uh, obtaining the total area, I am integrating it over 0 to a and final value will be 1 by 6 into h. Similarly, qy Similarly, the value of q y that is first bound of plane laminar with respect to the axis can be obtained by integrating the first bound of area of small strip with respect to y axis that is dqy and it can be calculated by integrating x bar element into dA. Here x bar is x, x bar of element is x and dA is equal to h by a square into a by 2 x square minus sorry h by a x minus h by a square into x square dx and substituting the values integrating it and applying the limit and final value of q will be obtained as 1 by 12 h square h similarly uh, and uh, next we will see a problem of slightly different kind of what we have discussed in the previous classes. Here we can see that in the figure 1 the figure 1 up to a distance a the area is formed by a function y is equal to kx square and from a to 2a the function the area uh, formed by a function something like y is equal to m x plus c so in this case what we can do in this case we will split the problem into two sessions and we will do the calculations individually and we will add appropriately and here also the first step is to identify the function and we can say the function as y1 as k x square and y2 as minus mx plus c because the slope is negative and it doesn't pass through the origin so we should write y, y2 is equal to minus mx plus c and by applying the boundary conditions of for y1 at x equal to a, y is equal to 2b the equation 1 as 2b is equal to k a square or k is equal to 2b by a square. I am rewriting the equation 1 as y1 equal to 2b by a square into x square. Similarly, by observation we can say that uh, the y intercept of this straight line will be at 2b and by applying the boundary condition we can say that y2 will be is equal to minus b by a into x plus 2b and by we can so we can rewrite the uh, equation of y to us b into 2 minus x by u. So now the next step is uh, selection of small rectangular strip. 
Here we have to select two rectangular strip as shown in figure 2. And since we are integrating over x, I am considering the coordinates of x coordinate of center gravity of both elements as x and y bar will be different because the functional line is uh, different for different range that is for this y1 for uh, for this y1 the value of y1 can be given by equation 2 p by a square into x square and in case of y2 it is given by an equation y2 is equal to b into 2 minus x by a and y element can be y element of first step that is uh, the area formed under parabola can be written as half y1 which is equal to b by a square x square and its area da1 is equal to y1 into dx this and the total area can be obtained as integral of da here we can calculate we can integrate and calculate the area of individual laminas and we can add we can consider this as a problem of composite lamina similarly the first bound of area also can be calculated by finding the values of individual rectangular so integrating it over their own limit and adding and once you have the values of first bound of area and total area you can calculate the coordinate of center of gravity of total figure i hope you got some insight about uh, determination of uh, center of gravity using direct integration method of area formed by two different curves and here uh, some practice problems are incorporated try to solve it and get back to get back to me through uh, gold classroom model or our whatsapp group and we will discuss uh, in detail on our contact class after the holidays thank you